Hello internet, uh, second take of doing this because I, I nearly did exactly the same mistake that I did last time. So this is day 12 of my Vlog 365 challenge. Even though I thought I checked it before I hit record, um, I started the, the previous video doing hello day 11. So it's day 12, um, I can't believe I'm struggling to count. Uh, it's Sunday, um, sort of the sun's gone in but it's a lovely day. I'm back in Essex, so back at my mum's got back. Um, lunchtime-ish, then sort of went out and hang out with my dad on his first day charity and then decided that I don't really want to mope around the house. So I've decided to come to uh, Mersey Island in Essex. I'm going to do a bit of a sweeping uh, like that and I, I thought I'd come and sit on the beach and listen to some bits and just mope, well not mope, but you know, have a bit of a jolly really and, in, um, and enjoy, enjoy the sand. There is sand. There is sand. Uh, um, and talk about Jamboree. So uh, this time last week I, I'd left the Jamboree. What time is it? Yeah, I'd, I was home actually. This time last week I was home from the Jamboree. I had an absolute, pardon me, absolutely uh, amazing, fantastic time um, at the Jamboree. Uh, Essex International Jamboree. I'd been there I think 10 days, 11 days, something like that, over a week uh, in this little bubble. So it's always a bit of a shock considering having to go back to the real world, um, especially for me, my real world. Well, well, how much can change in a week? Uh, but for me, my, my real world's not fantastic at the moment. Um, so I certainly enjoy being in that bubble of the Jamboree. Um, but more importantly, the Jamboree is where you, you, you meet new friends and you get to hang out with old friends. So what I do at Jamborees is media, uh, marketing, communication stuff, mainly the media stuff with the radio, Scout Radio. And we have a family. We have our what I call our Jamboree family, where we sort of go from Jamboree to Jamboree and a big event to big event. And every year we're sort of somewhere doing media and scouting and guiding um, for the joint events and, and absolutely loving it. And it, it's great to have a network of friends up and down the country um, and, uh, you know, people that you go to every event to, with and it feels good to, to be working with them. You know, like I said, like a family. Um, and we even socialise, rarely, uh, outside of scouting. It's always weird when you see people not in scouting polo shirts or scarves and actually in posh, you know, shirts and trousers and suits and things like that. It's always uh, an interesting experience. Um, um, but as well as meeting new friends. So certainly at this Jamboree, um, over the last sort of year or two that I've had my comms people recruited, I've been involved in the Jamboree sort of three odd years or more, lose track, um, have met some really new people glad that we got them involved i'm really looking forward to have them as friends and sort of hang out with them socially and, and have that connection with them but also with a few of them might work on other projects scouting guiding non-scouting guiding projects maybe even professionally so do i have i had this have i suffered from the jamboree blues this week yes i think i have actually i i certainly on the last day or the last couple of days I was saying to people let's just stay here for another week and and have fun so anyway we've we've gone three past three minute mark and I and I never not at the moment don't really fancy doing long drawn out vlogs um try and keep to sort of one subject on the vlog I think is, is the key um so like and subscribe um please 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 put your comments hopefully you've had a good weekend or if you're one of my jamboree friends say hello and have you suffered from jamboree blues in the last week and if not I'll see you later bye